So we're going to look at our first set of sweeps. We have, uh, we're going to start them off of the knees. Now, like I've said, if you are on your knees when someone puts you in spider, you're asking for trouble. Okay, you should always be trying to get to your feet as soon as you can. There are moments where you're, when we're passing, which we'll be looking at next week, um, where you're going to drop to one knee for a split second to be able to clear the grip. Um, but again, you don't want to just stay stationary on both knees. But some people, you set it up, they don't get up in time, or they only get to one foot, and you can capitalize, okay? So we're going to give you the more difficult one first, which is a momentum sweep. And then we're going to do essentially the same thing, and then we're going to add like a scissor to it, okay? So Chris, again, just play here, open guard guys on the knees. So feet on the hips, I put myself into the spider. So remember, knees nice and wide, chamber nice and tight, and again, always looking for the tension, okay? Now from here, the momentum back and forth is key, okay? This is what's going to do it. You can't do this from a standstill, okay? So I go back and forth with my momentum, and then the harder option is this. As I transition, he thinks I'm going to push like so. But what ends up happening is that as I come through, I'm going to step on his bicep, basically think you're tucking his elbow to his hip or to the mat, as I extend his arm over his head, which forces him to fall. Now there's some opportunities, because a lot of times guys will scramble for a split second to try and come up, right? Which leads to a good opportunity for the triangle, omoplata, armbar, etc. But let's just focus on trying to get to a dominant position. So again, start feet on the hips, from here, back and forth, and I hit him with this position. Now, I could just bail, but what I want you guys to try and do is disengage your hooks, and then I drive my hips as I pull his arm. So I'm pulling myself, slugging my way into mount. One more time here, do it slow again. This one is awkward until you get the timing, guys. So you don't fully lock out, fully locked out. Fully locked out. Fully locked out. You start and then you switch. Okay? So you're smooth to suddenly explosive. Okay? Just like when you get the flu sometimes. Okay? Your what? Foot lint got on my eye. Foot lint? Good. You're right? Yeah. So again, back and forth. Knock them over. Bail, and then again, I extend my hips and aim from them. Okay? Any more instruction needed on that? I'm gonna watch you guys go for it and we'll pick up a couple details. Let's go. One, two. Let's do it. Not work from the feet. Okay, this person has far too much face. You would have to almost invert. I don't think that turned yep. Is it on? Yep, okay, it's on. I'm here to be. Um, you would almost have to invert yourself um, to be able to like rotate it. And you, and you can do this, but you almost want to be thinking about doing this defensively. Um, so the main thing that I want to correct from you guys is again, the timing. So you need his body shifting, right? And this is why you don't want to just kind of play like this flat because you're not really moving his body. You're just moving his arms. I want him to feel that his weight is being kicked over to this side. And then when you start to actually transition back and forth, force forth he actually feels the force of your weight and your hip turning right so as you come through he's getting pushed to the side for a moment but then stop your extension and step down and don't kick behind him because that doesn't do anything that puts him into his base he could just stand up in this position oh, maybe there we go <laughs> okay so what we want to do is force him past my shoulders so you open up your hip so as I go and I step, think about almost looking behind you, and I want to pull his elbow forwards. So I'm, yes, I'm extending this leg, but I'm trying to make him flop over to the side here. Boom, boom, okay? And again, with momentum, it's always better. One more time. Back and forth, feel the rock and roll. Okay, and you see I hit him with that timing. Smooth, smooth, and then If you want to, you can even invert in this position, but then you're really looking to tangle him up and make him look silly in the competition. Okay? Keep going a couple more reps. Let's 
part of your general movement, right? Like, you can just knock guys off balance. You can use this as sort of like an opener for your subs, like whether it's the omoplata or your triangle. If I'm just aggressively moving on the bottom here, like instead of just going, okay, break, boom, and then go for my attack, which again, you saw last class, you can do. But if I'm kind of here and I'm knocking him over and then I go for my launch, like just use it to, so he's worried more about staying on top and keeping his base and then you launch your attacks, okay? Now, I did mention, if he's on his way up, if he puts one knee up, right? Because he's going, I mean, it's rare that a guy is going to just jump to, off of his knees to both feet, right? So it's as, he's way on, he, yeah, as he's on his way up, this is a good time. Whatever side his knee is down on, I'm going to try and hit him to that side because he doesn't have base there, okay? So I can use this to my advantage. Again, I'm moving around. I see him put that knee up and then I try and knock him off that line or over that line. If I go the other direction, which sometimes you might try, right? If he puts that same knee up and I try and go here, well, he's got base. I'm putting his weight into where he is. But I can also now use this as my omoplata because I feel strong there and I opened him up to that side. So you just kind of start adding this into that base back and forth movement in a more aggressive and less flowy motion, okay? Now, let's go for the scissor sweep option, which is stronger, which is a true sweep. So very similar to what we did. I'm off to the side, and then as I transition, I drop my foot off, and then this turns into that chop. So think scissor sweep, chop and kick. But instead, I actually trip him over my leg. Okay, the upper leg does exactly what you were doing, and the bottom leg chops through, okay? This one you can use as a singular attack. You don't have to get into that big momentum, like good timing. Timing's always good. But through here, again, I can break it off. See, I chamber, chop and kick them right over. Okay, one more time. Now my explanation is a bit more demonstrative than this. But again, release, break the grip. And then as I come through, this chops, and then I just continue that kick through to bring myself on top, okay? Or, if he puts that one leg up and he's focusing on sort of blocking, right? And again, trip him off of that, okay? Just remember, go away from the extended leg, okay? Bring his weight to the opposite side. All right, guys? Give that a quick try, don't you? All right, guys, do this, like I was saying, singular sweep. So what I mean by this is go from a stop and then just go into it, okay? Chris? So you're on your side, drop, kick and pull, and then now I transition. So I bend my knee to be able to move my hip like we always do, chop, and then kick over the top, okay? Again. here, transition, and trip, okay, on top, or just go side control, doesn't really matter, okay, yes, you can do it with momentum like I indicated, but like, why get rid of your control if you don't have to, what I'd more likely do, if we're playing momentum, is I try here, it doesn't work, and then I drop my leg and I, I finish, okay, like add this, this strength to chop as needed, but try just from there, extend, Transition, drop, and kick over. Okay? One, two. No, it didn't turn off.